Hello and welcome back to another episode of Persona FES. Oh, looks like Yukari might be the one who will talk to me or might go out with me to walk Kodomoro. Let's see if Kodomoro wants to walk. Okay, he doesn't want to, doesn't want to eat. Well, right there. I'll just go upstairs. What do they have to say? Are you jealous? You want to eat dog food? You're welcome to. I don't know if I'm going to use him though. <laughs> Wait, let's see what this boy has to do. What he has to say. Ah, so today is all about Koromaru. I'm done with you. I want to see what she has to say. Dogs run on survival skills. That's why they're always trying to protect their food. It's an instinct. That's why you have to teach them that um, they're safe and you know their food won't be taken away. That's why some dogs um, become aggressive with, you know, to toys or because it's their survival to to maintain it. And you you know how dogs some dogs eat like if it's their their last meal. I'm sorry to ask so suddenly, but can you come with me? There's something we need to discuss. Hmm, interesting. Uh, you want all of us, or just him? <laughs> just him for now. Come with me to the student council room. Hmm. Have I been doing something wrong? What is it? Let me know. Wow, 10 more days. Isn't it kind of weird that she'd only want to talk to him? Probably some big, important student council business. Nah. Uh-huh. Maybe so, but Senpai was acting a little weird. She had that look she gets when she's keeping some terrible secret. Ah, you worry too much. Well, if the high muckety mucks don't need us, might as well go home. <laughs> hey, wait a second, Junpei. According to the seating chart, if he's not here, you have to clean up for him. Have fun sweeping the hallway! What? Where did that rule come from? Wrecked. <laughs> There's something you have to know. Do you remember the girl named Chidori, who was with Strega? I don't mean to alarm you, but the fact is, there's a chance that she may wake up today. I know what you're going to say, and yes, we did see her die in front of our eyes. However, her body began to undergo transmogrification a few days after the incident. Oh. For the past few weeks, she's been in a state that is neither living nor dead. Truthfully, I was hesitant to bring it up. I thought it would cause undue distress if we didn't know whether she would eventually live or die. But what I wanted to talk to you about is your opinion on how to break the news to Yuri. Oh my goodness. You see, she's probably... A zombie, or...? Mitsuru here. I see. Yes, I understand. That was the hospital. They say she's just awakened. Oh, shit. It's unbelievable. But although we had confirmed her death, it seems Chidori has come back to life. Iori? Oh, shit. D did I hear that right? He was eavesdropping. Chidori is... Huh? Is this a joke? Some kind of trick? No. It's not a joke or a trick. She is currently recovering in the same hospital as before. But... Iori. She probably... Chidori. She doesn't Chidori's remember. Alive? <laughs> uh, hey, 
Junpei, what about your cleanup duty? Fuck cleanup Jeez, duty. What's gotten into him? Well, I guess it's a moot point now. But perhaps it's best that he found out this way. I think I'll head to the hospital after this too. Could I ask you to come along? Sure. Oh, I want to see what happens. I bet you she has no memory. Huh? Junpei? You took off that fast, and you still haven't gone inside? Well, I mean, it's kind of... We'll wait outside. It wouldn't be good for all of us to storm in. I agree. Iori? Oh, shit. Her damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but there's no more danger of her dying in two years. Is it really you, Chidori? I'm not dreaming, am I? Dreaming? It is you, Chidori. Who are you? I knew it. Huh? What? I thought as much. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. I suspected that this might be the case. This is Mitsuru-san and Junpei-kun. They were your friends last year. Friends? She sounds different My too. My name is Chidori Yoshino. I'm sorry, it hasn't quite hit me yet. But it seems I don't remember any of the past few years. It's as if... I was dreaming for a very long time. Chidori... Yoshino. It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. She remembers everything that happened before then. But as for you all... Iori. Damn. Nah, I think... It's better for her that she doesn't remember. All that stuff about fighting and pills. When you're having a nightmare, it ain't a bad thing to wake up. I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. It was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted him to be happy. And I... I think... there were flowers. A room filled with them. Ugh. Chidori, take it easy. You don't have to force yourself to remember. Flowers in a room. If she remembers that part clearly, then maybe... Do you remember when she'd use her power from time to time to make flowers bloom again? She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Junpei-kun would come. Any flowers she touched would be mysteriously preserved. That's why I kept them all for research purposes. But after the autopsy, I put them all on her chest as a tribute. And thinking back on it... It may have been that night that she began to transmogrify. Oh. The power to share one's life with others. Could it be that she reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Oh, nice. Well, I can't prove any of it. But compared to how she was before, she's changed. The loss of her power is part of it, but more than that. Excuse me, are you talking about me? What? No. We were talking about how you want to live now. Huh? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have to find the person in my dream someday. I can't lie in this bed forever. He's right there! Supposing you do find him and meet him, what then? That's... <sighs> That's none of your business. Ooh. The ass ass. Chidori! Two hearts reunited. It's a miracle. No, it's a victory. 
<laughs> Chidori. H hey, why are you crying? Hasn't hit her yet. He's the one. I, I, I can't help it. This, this is seriously the happiest moment of my life. <laughs> uh, that's so sad. She's like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> and the girls are crying outside. And everything runs like normal. Wow, that was sad and all like I'm so happy right now. That is so awesome. That is true. And look at that, they didn't burn her or cremate her on anything, so they got lucky. And the guy putting the flowers on her chest probably helped her. <laughs> I can tell, brother. I can tell. Kuromaru. I bet you he's not, he doesn't want to go outside. Oh, I knew it. He's not in the mood to walk. Alright, um, I will go back to my room. Today was a glorious day. Well spent. I will sleep earlier. What are you two yapping about? I'm sorry, I'm not thinking about you. I'm thinking about my life. Ah, the math teacher. I always not, um, wondered that, how do people like dirt, like paleontologists, how they like, um, you know, dinos and all that stuff, how people like math and numbers. Oh my god, nine more days! Class has ended for today, and we'll see if we can talk to the star athlete. Um, we only got... A little bit for the treasurer. No, the team manager. She only got three. Transfer student. Oh my god. The rival athlete. I really want to get. Hello. I most likely won't, but that's okay. Because I'm gonna make Satan. I can talk to Nozomi too. Do, 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 do. I like this song. Hey bro, you wanna talk? Yes. Nope. At least my points went up. Hi, how was your day? Very fruitful. 
Apparently, no, not really. All right, he's whimpering. Time to go my room. You know, I could have saved some time instead of doing so many battles, recording so many battles. I think I would have gotten to the 90s on videos. <laughs> I was watching my old videos and I realized I did some battles and I could have just been, um, I could have been using the trick my sister told me to let them find uh, the way upstairs instead of actually finding it myself. That would have saved so much time and so much video. All right, who wants to talk to you today? Let me see the transfer student. Baby, are you here, baby? Ba oh, oh, baby's not there. All right. Um. I think I'm gonna chill with her anyway. Everybody seems a little sad when I'm not, not chilling with them. You know what? Let's try for the rival athlete. I really want to. Um, there's like eight days left. I'm about to. Um, I'm about to hit one of them, and I got enough items to. Um, because I know they do Armageddon. And I got enough items to to bring back the, the SP. Alright. I wonder why it drops me here. Before it used to drop me here, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Too bad you can't go into the room and talk to the person on the computer. Oh, really? Heh! <laughs> of course you won. <laughs> yeah, I want to see what's next for him. Ah, job. That sounds very promising. Oh, nice. He'll give up his his career for sports to, to provide for his family. Oh, he's going to leave just like the little girl.
Congrats, bro. I'm really happy for him. It's like I'm talking to him. <laughs> Where have you been? That's right. I will. I will. Don't worry about it. I got a plan. Alright, let's walk with Amaru. Hey, who's turning with me? Oh, hello. Oh, here we go. I'll leave you two alone. Here we go, let's go. Who I gotta chill with this Sunday? I think it was Chihiro? Alright, let's see what happens about the, the... And I hope I don't fuck it up like I did before. I'll be so pissed. Oh, oh, it was Yuko. Can I wipe it off for you? Hey now, what kind of celebration you thinking? I'll be an asshole. Damn. No! Oh well. <laughs> I fucked that up. Alright, um, let me see. Something sportsy. How about a Jack Frost doll? Yeah! I don't have anything sportsy. I could have gave her a watch. Yukari likes expensive things. Welcome back. Well, my bad. I thought with my courage, like Persona 4, I can be a little ballsy, but apparently I can't be ballsy in this one. All right, let's see. All right, let's go for a walk. Oh, Kenji! <laughs> well, so far I haven't fallen asleep in class, so I don't know what you're talking about. So you're continuing being lazy for the rest of your life. Okay. Damn, I thought we were already close. Shit, after he had his heart broken, he became like, he was like, oh, fuck it all! You know, I just fuck it all! So close.
I wanna see what she blabbers on about. Oh, she said. That was an lecture that was. <laughs> that was a sob story. Let's begin, shall we? I don't have much to say, though. In the end, it's your decision. All right, first question. Are you planning on going to college after you graduate or entering the workforce? Um, get a job, most likely. I see. Then go to college. Well, if you've given serious thought to your decision, then I believe that is what you should do. Now, it's important to keep in mind that this decision is yours and yours alone. If someone else makes it for you, you'll regret it later. And then you'll have to live with the consequences, whatever they may be. But to be honest, I'm quite confident in you. Thank you. You've really matured over this last year. Thank you. I'm sure you're aware of it as well. Yes, I am. What do you think has helped to bring about this change the most? Um, having multiple personas at my command, leading a team, and fighting the forces of evil. I see. Well, whatever the reason, you should be proud of the young man you've become. That's all for now. I hope you have a successful senior year. Let's see. Uh, who's next? Ah, I guess son. Uh. Would you mind letting her know? Thank you. <laughs> I hope not to rust in the coming years. I hope I have a long battery life. Hmm? I'm sorry I went off on my own. What is it, I guess? When I finally calmed down after New Year's, I realized something. When I fought Ryoji, I got really scared when my consciousness began to fade. But that wasn't all. I was also confused and embarrassed when I realized I couldn't defeat him. You're getting but emotions. I couldn't defeat him ten years ago either, and I didn't have those feelings then. I... I really have changed. I've been thinking a lot about this change that's occurred in me. You know, in the past if I didn't understand something I would just ask someone to explain it to me. But since I've decided to live, no one's been able to answer the questions I've been facing. Mm. However, there is one thing I've come to understand. The reason why I wanted to be close to you was so I could monitor death. But... Even though death is gone now, I... I still want to be by your side. Mm. I still don't know what it means to live yet. But I want to learn the answer, and I think I can, if I'm with you. So please, please take me with you. I may not be strong enough, but I'll fight with you to the end. Please. Alright. <laughs> Thank oh, you. I made her happy. Oh, and I guess class has ended for today. Wow, a whole lot happened this, this day. Um, let's see if I can talk to the... Only six more days. It's ever so close.
What's up, bro? Alright, let's see. Alright, it wasn't successful today, but hopefully... Hi, how was your day? It was very informative. Of course we'll be fine. Well, she's very enthusiastic. I guess because she wants to stay with me forever. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. And we got six more days until we fight Nyx and possibly the people in Tartarus. And I hope you guys enjoy. And thank you so much for watching.